Hello there, fifth graders. Welcome back to day two of coding. I hope you had fun with the Sprite Lab yesterday. Um, today we're going to get right to it. So I'm going to click fifth graders here. And today you're going to finish all the lesson seven activities. So it's activities one through nine for lesson seven. And click the blue arrow. Let that load up. Again, no need to sign in. And today you'll see at the top it says alien dance party with sprite lab so you're in another sprite lab but instead of fish this time it has to do with an alien dance party and you're going to have access to a lot more blocks again make sure you read the directions here you have to read this code and make a prediction once you type it in you'll be able to see if your prediction was correct or not okay so here you'll see there's something with a the background there's a new sprite made at certain coordinates this looks like an event block remember event blocks can don't have to be attached. They just, if this event occurs, when that sprite right there is clicked, something's going to happen. So make sure you do that. Um, second activity is a video. And you'll notice once you get to activity three, that we're back to the workspace. Just like yesterday, all of your work, um, all of your work, is going to continue. There's a workspace. So as you go through all these activities, anything, any code you do is going to continue on to the next activity. Okay. Again, make sure you read the directions. Reminder, event blocks can go anywhere. They don't have to be connected to the main code. They are parallel code. They can run at the same time as this code. And you can access all of your blocks by clicking the categories here. Okay. So um, make sure you're reading the directions and you'll be fine. By the end, you're going to be making a huge alien dance party. Should be a lot of fun. I'm actually going to do it with my kids today. So enjoy, have fun. Again, read those directions. Okay.